combat has always been a passion for me, you know. Even though it was channeled the wrong way in the early days when I was at school. But as I grew up and, and I actually ended up in a club, it disciplined me, it calmed me down, it channeled my energy the right way. Obviously this is what the youngsters of today need more of. I'm feeling good. This is where to channel your energy. If there's no one, invest in one of these and punch it. I wasn't a bad kid because I knew what was right and wrong, which most, most children nowadays know. They know what is right and wrong. The, I was in that situation, but I didn't know how to channel my energy. You know, in school, fighting, trying to be a show off maybe a little bit, making a couple of jokes that sort of annoy the teacher, um, peer pressure, all of these things. Okay, so Blackbeard MMA is about helping our community, okay? is getting these youngsters off the street and channeling their energy the right way, okay? A lot of these youngsters don't have identity. They don't know who they really are. They're confused. They... We're here to change that. We're here to also benefit the sisters of the community as well, okay? Give them a place to train. As you could see, the, you know, the facilities can cater for them. I think what makes Khalid good at what he does is that he can communicate with people on different levels. As I said earlier, we have so many people of, from diff all different walks of life training here. And for them to be comfortable uh, you know, in these surroundings uh, with, with what's going on in the world in terms of uh, Islamophobia and whatever, you know, Khalid sets a real great message that you know, we are one. And it's apparent because um, all the classes are, are mixed. Everyone respects each other and everyone knows what they're in for. So where Blackbeard MA is today, it hasn't come here with me being the backbone of the club. So much support from the community and even people out of the community. Blackbeard MMA for me, uh, the, the main attraction for me was the, the simplicity of the head coach, Naman Khalid. Uh, not just the simplicity, but you know, how humble he is and how I've seen him, how he's been interacting with other students and the way his students follow his humbleness. It's not just martial arts that, or discipline he's instilling in his students. He actually talks about the Sahabas. Now, many people don't know who the Sahabas were. They were the companions of our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And it's very important that we have a role model, somebody like who, who were the real heroes of Islam, which was the Sahabas. Not, you know, Joe, whatever, blog, whatever, from TV or Hollywood movies. It's, it's, it's a gym that caters for champions who want to go to pro and for ordinary people who just want to just train just to get fit, whatever. Uh, the beautiful thing about it is that it's, it's a gym for everyone. We're still young, we've got um, a good handful of amateur fighters fighting in the, in, the, in the scene now. And we've got one champion who's Kashan, Kashan the Crusher Khan. Yeah, he's doing well, mashallah. And, um, and the rest of his teammates who are, who are following suit. And uh, we've got the competitors and then we are also caring for the average guy that just wants to stay fit and healthy. Blackbeard MMA is more of a, a community more than anything. You know, people of all races, all religions, you know, where they can come together and you know share that that, that bonding of teamhood, um, you know, sorry, brotherhood, a team environment. Um, and generally it's like I said, it's, it's an open thing for the community for men, women, boys, girls of all ages. It's open for everybody, yeah. Like like uh, like we said, yeah, we started off as a few and then we moved to another gym in Activate and when we were in Activate gym there was a lot of non-Muslims training with us they actually preferred training with us because they see the, the character and the softness with us we weren't malicious and hard and you know sparring was you know controlled and they, they loved everything about us in regards well, you, to you manners. guys you're here to lead them in a straight path yeah, inshallah and, be, and try to lead, uh, uh, give them a good example <coughs> Fight. 
Bon, mais comme Caram, hein There's many uh, beautiful uh, aspects of Blackbeard MMA, but the one that really ticks my box is the brotherhood uh, the, the, the head coach, Harlid, brings within the, the students. Within the club, we're trying to encourage um, networking, where brothers, um, you know, call out to one another in regards to their trade. You know, you've got your solicitor, you've got your doctors, you've got... This is, this is sort of like, it's a nice hub to have. A lot of few people feel alone, they're not part of something, they're getting bullied. Um, the parents don't like them, this happens, you know, they've got a broken home. They have somewhere to sort of unwind. Subhanallah, this is Blackbeard MMA. We start all with a black beard and we end up with a white beard. So this generation, inshallah, will take the new generation to the right and the straight path, inshallah. First of all, um, I am Mohammed Salim, the chairman of Dean Riders. So we're here today to give them the support. Not only to give them the support, we're here to work for them and with them forever, inshallah. To the opening of this fantastic uh, new facility, it gives me great pleasure as leader of the council to be able to uh, open it. But from my point of view, um, uh, as the council leader, uh, we own a few units in, in Wexham Business Village, and um, we've been kind of looking at the, the sort of future of, of, of the site more generally. But um, when one of our tenants had, uh, had kind of left uh, this site, uh, Nazir and I had, had a discussion about trying to make sure we got a decent um, use in to replace it. Uh, and actually, the opportunity here with a, a mixed martial arts facility to get our young people doing constructive things, exercise, which I think we probably all need more of these days after months of lockdown um, and just as I say the opportunity to get people involved in, in sport and uh, the thinking that goes with martial arts um, is, is really good mind training and so we're really really pleased I think to have been able to uh, let the facility to you guys. Uh, I say I'm absolutely delighted therefore to see it all cleaned up and open. I didn't see this unit um, before it was uh, refurbished but I've seen a few of the other ones uh, in the business village so I know there must have been plenty of elbow grease sweated <laughs> out and uh, work done to, to get this into the beautiful condition that it's in today and as I say it gives me great pleasure therefore to uh, open this facility uh, this afternoon. So the Blackbeard and May name came from a brother called Nadim. One day I didn't turn up to a little uh, gathering um, that they had and uh, he comes out with oh I was wondering where Blackbeard was and I went Blackbeard that sounds good. Black is the colour of the highest grade belt and I said beard is a tag of a warrior of many nations. The, all the warriors, if you look back in the days, they all had beards. So I put that together. So it became Blackbeard and May. A lot of brothers. And remember, 9-11 was going on heavy at that time as well. They said, man, it sounds too Muslimy. It sounds too Muslimy. You ain't gonna get no customers like that. next 18 months um, I want to establish the Uswa Jiu Jitsu branch in Slough, uh, get that a bit grounded. We have another class in Blackbeard MMA which is going to be the MMA circuit. It's going to be for newbies and even experienced individuals that don't want to get hands on. So you know so minus the sparring and stick to the fitness based of MMA. We have uh, women's only classes in place and then we're going to go uh, plus 40s as well. So we want to hit all angles, including the teens and the kids, uh, and hopefully do just to the community. We just want to uh, build that hub that we've been speaking about. 
and hopefully, inshallah, we could um, make a positive impact. That's the plan.